Hey guys, it's Colin Chris here. Welcome to my review of The Flash Season 2 Episode 10, the first episode of the new year. And in this video, I'm going to be breaking down what happened in the episode. I'm going to be giving my overall thoughts. So let's begin with my review of this week's episode of The Flash. So we start off this episode, we start off the episode with uh, Barry taking out Patty on a date. And then Zoom comes in, he kidnaps, he kidnaps Patty and he... He he um, he drops her from a tall building the same way he did with Linda towards the beginning of the series where he gave that famous beat down to Barry where Barry broke his back and all that stuff. Uh, but we assume that Paddy died, but it, it's a nightmare. So he, Barry wakes up. We find out later on in the episode that he's been having multiple nightmares. That he always has these nightmares about Zoom killing Patty. And Harris and he reveals after Iris tells uh, Barry to tell Patty that she's the Flash, that he's the Flash. Um, Harrison Wells he warns um, Barry to not tell Patty that he's the Flash because once Zoom finds out he's the Flash, he's gonna he, he's gonna he's gonna once Zoom finds out that who Barry cares for, he's gonna take away them. He's he's gonna try and take away everyone he cares for just like he did to um jesse so that's why he t that's why he, f he can exp he's speaking from experience basically so yeah this episode is basically a patty and barry centric episode for me this episode in particular i really i feel very sorry for patty she's the most sympathetic vill villain she's the most sympathetic character of the whole series for me and this episode really confirmed that she experienced trauma when she was about to get killed by the tur by the turtle the turtle was literally moments away from killing twice in, in fact not even once twice in the episode she almost died in the hands of the turtle so and we see the fear in her face that she she was and the second time she was trying to like she was she was trying to beg him to not kill kill her basically and obviously the flash comes in he interferes and yeah the cliche stuff obviously um so barry yeah he takes some um, patty to this art museum or is it an art museum i can't let's just call it an art museum so and this is where the turtle wants to this the turtle appears he tries to steal some he tries to steal this painting or something like that and yeah in the process he patty like patty catches the turtle so the turtle he he tries to kill patty basically and the flash comes he sees that the flash has some sort of connection with patty because of the way he looks at her so he he feels that he should the the flash should lose someone he, he, he wants the flash to lose someone close to him just like the way his mother he his wife left him or something like that after rewatch it again to understand his motive it was something to do as a wife anyway but yeah he feels that the flash has some sort of connection emotional connection with patty but obviously patty doesn't feel she, she doesn't know that barry's the flash so how could she and throughout the episode i'm always just telling i'm telling screaming to the screen barry just tell patty you're the flash tell her put her out of her mission because i really feel sorry for this character patty uh, uh i really feel sorry for her because she's always just being kept in the dark and it just it just like it breaks her heart inside that she she's just trying to she's just trying to get her boyfriend to open up to her but she's just not he's just not letting her and this we see the development we see the the impact that this causes to uh later on in the episode or well, we'll get to that later so yeah in the other parts of the story we have wally west who's angry at joe for not being there throughout his childhood for not seeing for not knowing that he he existed because obviously francine joe's wife she never told him about uh wally so how could he know but wally's angry but at the end of the episode they come to an agreement that they will try to get along that they try to make the relationship work so we'll see where that goes later on in the further on in the series 
and Iris's job, Iris didn't really have that much to do this episode apart apart from talking to Patty, telling Patty to speak to Barry, and telling Barry to tell Patty that she is the Flash. Um, Cisco also didn't have a lot to do this episode, but he did have some funny lines once again as always Cisco the one of the funny not even one he's the funniest character in the Arrowverse the Flowerverse he's the funniest character one of my favorite characters um so Harrison Wells he is trying throughout this episode he's trying to whilst everyone is focused on the turtle he is still trying to capture Zoom he's still trying to uh, figure out ways to capture Zoom and we see at the end the very last part of the episode, he kills the he kills the turtle. He ca he gets a blood sample because because the turtle's power is to slow down time to slow down yeah slow down time. So, I feel that he wants to try and slow he wants to use this to slow down Zoom, so that he can kill Zoom or something like that. He wants to maybe he wants to use the t his the turtle's powers on himself, so that he can use it to slow down time slow zoom down and maybe kill him and free um his daughter so yeah that's basically his arc of the whole episode he kills the toe and i we we can actually reason with harrison was as a person because if we were to lose so if we were, if we were had someone we loved kidnapped by a powerful person we would do anything to stop, not even by a not even just about by anyone. We would do anything to stop her, to stop that person and retrieve our loved one back. So we we can relate to Harrison Wells, but his motive by killing the tur the turtle obviously that's a bit too far. But it's Harrison Wells. It's a it's a yeah. And so as I said, the main focus of the episode was on Barry and Patty and their relationship. So, and it was about Barry figuring out whether he should tell Patty he's the Flash or not. And I actually thought he was going to tell her at one point, but it didn't turn out to be so. Because at the end of the episode, Pat Patty, she announces that she's going to leave Central City because she feels that she, we, we know it's the main reason is because of Barry and all the other, but she tells Barry that it's because that she's, already accomplished her mission to become a police and to stop her to stop the man who killed his father her father and she's already done that so now that she's done that she feels that she has no reason to carry on but we all know the main reason is because of barry and his relationship with her so but we all know i feel she's coming back no i have no doubt about that she's coming back but it's a, it's just a matter of putting the patty side the patty spirit so, um, storyline aside for a few episodes and then maybe around three four episodes into this next series into the series or not the next series into this series that she'll be back so yeah so patty leaves barry at the end of the episode we have wally and joe developing some, some kind of relationship towards the episode harrison wells killing the tort the turtle to get a blood sample of of the towel so he can stop zoom uh, oh yeah and also jay and caitlin so we find out that jay is sick that he that he needs his speed to survive so and caitlin is kind of mad at um jay for allowing him to get close to her knowing that he might not survive and she doesn't want to lose another person she loves because of obviously ronnie died a few months ago she doesn't want to experience that kind of trauma again but so at the end of the episode, they agree to help each other to stop Zoom. So Jay is now back on board with Team Flash to help stop Zoom because he needs his speed back in order to, to survive. So he's going to have to steal it from Zoom. So in terms of the Velocity 6 formula, I think that maybe, I don't think, I don't think that Jay's going to use it on, I don't think it's going to be Jay that's going to take the Velocity 6 formula. I feel that it might be, either Wally West or maybe Wally West who will take the Velocity 6 and that's how he becomes Kid Flash that's my thoughts anyway so yeah overall I'll, I like this episode it's not the best episode but I like it a lot 
and I can't wait to the for the next episode next week, episode eleven, the reverse flash. Of t oh yeah, the reverse flash and we see in the post credit scenes. Reverse Flash comes back, and me, I'm thinking this is Earth One. This is Earth One of Reverse Flash, the one we saw last year as well. Not the Harrison Wells though. The actual Eobard Thorn, the actual face, the real Eobard person, not Harrison Wells in disguise. But yeah, I, it'll be. I can't wait to under to to find out how he manages to survive. It'll be a pretty interesting episode. I can't wait for that. So back to this episode. I'll give this episode maybe an eight out of ten wasn't the best episode like i said so yeah that's my review of the flash season 2 episode 10 and tomorrow will be arrow season 2 episode 10 and friday i'll give my review on the legends of tomorrow season 1 episode 1 saturday agents of Steel, sunday maybe supergirl depending we'll see so yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys later